for years we've been relying on the PPO inhibitors uh, for, for pigweed, actually for a decade now, for pigweed control, Palmer amaranth control, uh, from um, uh, both post and pre-applications. And with the advantage a few years ago of the PPO resistant Palmer amaranth, uh, we quickly found out the post applications were, were no longer effective. Uh, but what we're also finding out now is the pre-applications, they still have some value, they still provide some, some control, but not near the length of residual we used to get. And we have a real good example here. Uh, we have a Valor application at two ounces per acre. It's been out uh, around 10 days now. And you can see we already got Palmer amaranth that's starting to break here. And this is not characteristic. We're used to Valor holding Palmer amaranth for, um, you know, a good, 21 days at two ounces. So this is a big change uh, from what we've seen in the past. So let's compare what we see here with some, some Palmer Amarath coming up with these soybeans uh, a few days after emergence to uh, a premix of Valor and pyroxysulfone or Zidua uh, out here applied uh, at planting. So it's not just Valor by itself, but another herbicide, in this case Zidua, that provides good control of Palmer Amarath. And you can see it's still holding very well 10 days after, and I would expect a good 21 to 30 days of control here. So when you have Palmer amaranth that are this small, and they've only been up just a few days, um, you cannot see those from the pickup truck. You really got to step out and see them. Uh, if the population's high enough, you almost get that purple pigweed haze across the landscape. You can see it then. That's the perfect time to try and uh, put a post application out there. If you could, that's the timely time. You wait another couple, three, four days, they grow two to three inches a day. When we get 90 degree temperatures like we have and high humidity, um, you're not going to get as good a control with any post application. I don't care what the herbicide is. So timeliness is, is really critical. And catching them when they're in this stage, this really small stage, regardless of what herbicide you're using, is really key in order to get consistent Palmer Amaranth control.